Hello, I'm Brett Knowles from PM Squared Consulting. This is a quick overview of the five steps that you need to take to replace PowerPoint in your business performance meetings. And of course, the irony has not been lost on us that we're actually using PowerPoint to tell this story. Typically, our clients are able to complete this journey in about five days, and they end up with a ability to have a real-time strategy execution tool, or an RTS dashboard. Why replace PowerPoint? Well, as you know, PowerPoint is a bit like driving a car when you're using the rearview mirror. But you know what? It's worse than that um, old rhyme because you're looking at still pictures. You're looking at graphs that were created a month ago based on outdated data. What businesses really need is real-time or at least near real-time data, not those graphs I just mentioned that were created a week ago based on last month's data. Leadership also needs a strategic overlay because if your strategy is about entering new markets, then data around that new market is way more important than data around I don't know, getting revenue from existing customers. And we need a predictive capability. A dashboard isn't worth anything to us if it doesn't help us take a better route. So what would you prefer? You know, what we've had historically, uh, you know, stale dated income statements, balance sheets, uh, you know, Excel graphs and PowerPoint and stuff, or something that allows us to inquire in the data in real time as we're interested in what events are occurring and just chasing down ideas that come to mind. In fact, there are a number of features that this new world affords us. You know, the ability to open up that slide deck. No, you don't want to do that. What you want to be able to do is take a look at that image and drill through it when and where you want. You also need a situation where the data is always up to date. Whatever you're looking at, you know it's the latest data, as opposed to inquiring on when the last update was done, when the graph was produced, and so forth. We need it to be super easy to use so that everyone in the organization can click and drag to create uh, new dimensions and new views of the data. And therefore, it needs to be tightly linked to self-serve data and the ability to chase it down as your inquiring mind moves forward. So let's talk about this RTS or real-time strategy dashboard. We've identified 13 standard performance categories that should be on every single dashboard. Think of the dashboard of your car. Every single dashboard has got a gas gauge, it's got a speedometer, it's got a tachometer, and so on. What are those 13? Well, there's eight that we call new age. They're looking at things like measuring your organization's agility, the employee experience, the resilience of the organization, the risk, the traction you're getting against your strategic objectives, your velocity, your viability, and your overall, overall vitality, you know, the, the new products and services that you offer. And, you know, we can't throw out the baby or the bathwater. We have to address the traditional measures that everyone's looking for, cost, revenue, operational excellence, management, voice of customer. Those are the 13. And in that standard dashboard, we've got a proprietary list of predefined measures, which we focus on by industry, function, and how mature your business is. You know, are you in the um, early phases, the hyper growth phase, the maturity phase, and so forth. And of course, it's a built on a pre-built Tableau framework. So it's basically plug and play. Those five days we talked about, you know, the first step is capturing your organization's existing strategy and strategic priorities. Step two is to link that strategy back to both the RTS performance categories and the traditional categories. So we can figure out where it is we need to identify a measure. From there, we can begin using our reservoir, our proprietary key indicators that allow us to identify within the category, industry and maturity, what are cool measures that you have already available that will allow you to get a better view of how your organization is performing. From there, it's a simple step to build your RTS dashboard and connect it to your existing source data. 
And then from there, it's a simple matter of helping you sort out your governance. What are the monthly, weekly, daily meetings that you need to have that link strategy to performance, that makes strategy everyone's everyday job? From here, the next steps are, let's do a diagnostic. Let's figure out where you are in the maturity scale, what are your key strategic focuses, and then from there, help you build your RTS dashboard.